Hi, I'm Matt Hansen, and thanks for checking out StatStuff.com. We have a bunch of videos that teach the fundamentals of Lean and Six Sigma and how to apply them to our work. And there are a lot of other great resources available that teach Lean and Six Sigma, so what makes StatStuff so different? Well, our videos are all free, they're available online 24-7, and rather than bundling several tools and concepts into each session like a typical classroom environment, each of our videos cover just one topic at a time, so that way you can quickly and easily jump to the tool or concept that you want to learn. Now, if you're not sure where to start, just follow the full list of videos in order from the top all the way through to the bottom. We start with some introductory tools and concepts, then we touch on a variety of lean tools and concepts, and then we spend the rest of the time swimming in the deep waters of Six Sigma through the DMAIC methodology. Now, before you begin, you may be wondering, why do we even need lean and Six Sigma? Well, quite honestly, I don't believe that we do. There are many people throughout history who have been extremely successful in business long before the Lean and Six Sigma methods were ever developed. So does that mean that they don't add any value? Well, of course not. I think the Lean and Six Sigma are like putting a scope on a rifle. Sure, a skilled marksman can hit the target without a scope, but for the rest of us who aren't skilled in marksmanship, a scope can help us more confidently aim at and hit our target. In the same way, the Lean and Six Sigma methods use statistical analysis on data to help us be more confident that we're aiming at and hitting the right target, or the solution to the problem that we're trying to solve. Now don't let the term statistical analysis scare you off. I don't consider myself to be a statistician or mathematician by any means, but I know and can teach enough of the fundamentals to help you apply these analytical concepts in practical and relevant ways to help make you successful. And finally, some people believe that Lean and Six Sigma can only be applied to manufacturing environments, but I strongly disagree. It's true that these methods were primarily born out of and are generally easier to apply to a manufacturing environment, but I've been very successful applying these same tools and concepts across several non-manufacturing industries too. Every company is built on a variety of processes. As long as we're willing to believe that those processes aren't necessarily perfect, there should always be opportunities to improve those processes that could help improve the company's bottom line. Lean and Six Sigma can be very effective methods for finding and improving those opportunities. So, please feel free to check out all of our free resources here at statstuff.com. I'm Matt Hansen and thanks for watching.